Uh, it's six o'clock, and we want to uh, make sure we keep Darren's wishes uh, in order. Um, and uh, I'd like to welcome everyone uh, very much. I'm Tom Thorson, Executive Vice President of the uh, Dane County Parks Foundation. We have a warm welcome for the foundation. And uh, I'm also a member of the Dane County Park Commission. For, uh, seven, for 17 years I've been on the commission, and it's been just a wonderful experience working with Darren over those years. Uh, we're really glad that you could all join us. Um, you know, this is a, you know, really a nice celebration event for all that's happened under Darren's leadership. Um, we really appreciate uh, Community Access TV being here so that, you know, other people who couldn't make it here could uh, see this at a later time. And, and uh, it's nice that the residents of Dane County can see what's going on. Um, so, Back in March, when we were talking to Darren about, <laughs> what about this, Darren, typical Darren, uh, no, no, I don't need anything, I don't want anything, but yeah, I'll do something with the foundation to, uh, you know, bring some closure to his wonderful, uh, you know, parks uh, uh, directorship. Um, so we thought about, well, what about with all the things going on with COVID? Well, let's do it outside. You know, that was a given as opposed to being at, uh, at the Heritage Center. And so we uh, rolled out this plan uh, to have it outside, as it is today, early. Uh, and um, that's a part of Darren's forward thinking. And it, it's always been forward to think about others and, and to think about uh, safety. Um, so we're really glad you can be here. We really want to also, as a public health measure, we had thought about making sure, well, we can't do the cater line, we can't do the you know, food service, but let's have actually the food, a couple of food service people. So we really appreciate Jolly Frog and Melted for uh, doing, the, doing the food. <laughs> we, al we also want to thank Carbon4 for, for helping with the beverages. Um, it's a so, you know, this is a really um, safe, much safer way, and of course safety was one of our major consideration. There's cake up here, if you haven't had a chance, that's also been cut with, you know, by people with masks, so it's a, a good, safe situation. Um, we also want you to know that the bathrooms, we are trying to follow the uh, Center for Disease Control guidance, you know, wear masks in the bathroom, or if you're really in close prox uh, proximity to somebody that, uh, um, you know, might be, you know, nervous or whatnot. We want to have safety covered. Um, really, we want to thank everyone who's helped sponsor this event. Um, the found, you know, the foundation is really grateful for all the uh, donors and volunteers. Um, if you uh, take a chance, you can take a look at our sponsor boards that are here. Um, they're really the lead sponsors, the Jenny and Kyle Foundation who gave $10,000. That's really imp impressive. We also, we also had a number of $5,000 uh, conservation leader sponsors. Dean SSM Health, uh, we really, you know, may have seen some of them. It's just a great partnership, just like all these people that I'm gonna name. Um, the Dean County Conservation League, the Cap Times, Madison Fishing Expo, uh, Madison Dream Homes. So the list is fairly long. Um, the Carlson Black Law Offices, Steve Morton, Doug and Sherry Caves. Those are our, our you know, all very generous sponsors at that level. We'd also like to thank our $2,500 sponsors, um, the steward sponsors, American Family Insurance, Baker Manufacturing Company, Accessibility Wisconsin. I think you've all had a chance to see uh, the wonderful uh, chairs that they help provide so that everybody gets a chance to endure, enjoy the outdoors. So it's a great organization and please support them. Uh, Wolfpack Adventures, Bill Lunny and Judy Pfeiffer. And of course we've had some anonymous donors who we really appreciate. Um, a, couple of, a couple of, yes, thank you. A couple of sponsors uh, who couldn't be here, uh, County Board President and Park Commission member Annalise Eicher and County Supervisor and Parks Commission uh, Chair Dave Ripp. Um, 
they had county board duties tonight, so this is something that we didn't plan, plan back in March on. We didn't know, but they would really, they really appreciate Darren and all he's done, and wanted to make sure that uh, everybody knew that they wanted to be here. Um, we want to thank sponsors, big and small. We have such a great park system, and you know all the donations that are given are such a testament to all the work that Darren's done and all of the partnerships that he's helped create. And it's just a, a wonderful example of, of what should be done. I mean, just yesterday, um, we had a call from Jim O'Brien who says, oh, I'd like to give $3,000 to you because <laughs> of the good work that you do in education, you know, and with volunteers and helping our park system. And, you know, that's just, it's just wonderful to have people like, oh, like everybody here. Um, so... Um, one thing we'd like to also remind people about is that as the foundation grows and, and uh, the endowment grows, um, we have a, a grants table and if for you who, um, yeah, Gail Shea is at the grants table. If you're, if you're a friends group or somebody wants to find out about uh, the grants, the applications are due by October 29th, so please uh, get that in. Um, you can learn more. And then I... I want to do just a real brief thank you to Darren and myself. Uh, it's been a real honor to work with you over 17, these 17 years. And one of the things that I truly appreciate is something that, whether it be in the county or what you've done with the, with the parks, you've created a culture and, and, and things that reminded me a lot of when I used to work at DNR, where it's very supportive, it's really constantly trying to do the right thing you know, the, being humble, all the things that, you know, make such, for such good government, and you, and you are truly uh, to be, you know, it is, it has been an honor to work with you, so thank you so much. <laughs> and and now, now I get to introduce the first of our, uh, just, well, two, three speakers. Um, we're blessed here in Dane County in so many ways. Um, I'm truly grateful for the leadership uh, on so many levels that we've had over the years. But, you know, most recently, Joe Parisi, who I'm going to uh, introduce here. <laughs> he, he, he was, Joe was our county clerk for eight years, and then he served in the state legislature for six years in the, in the assembly. And for the last 10 years, he has been our county executive. And we couldn't be more fortunate to have somebody who has such outstanding leadership on so many fronts. If you look at, and, and Joel will talk a little bit about our, uh, the environment and parks, but what he's done with health and human services. And what, you know, you look at the last 18 months and what we've all faced uh, with the pandemic, we are truly blessed to have somebody who really believes in science and doing the right thing. And it's made a difference in saving a lot of lives. <laughs> so thank you. Um, well, so th yeah, thank you, Joel. Everyone would like to hear what you have to say about Darren and, and the parks. Thank you. Try this. How's that? Is it working? All right. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Tom, for that such a nice introduction. And thank you, Bill Lunny, for everything you do. Bill will be speaking in a, in a couple of moments. Um, I'm really happy to be here for this, I guess, is Celebrate Darren 2.0, because we had uh, a staff retirement party, can we say part, get together, celebration um, for Darren earlier this year. And he kind of had to be talked into that, because as you know, Darren doesn't like being in the spotlight and having people talk about all the good things he does because he'd much rather talk about all the good things that everyone else does. Um, and I think, I know, the only way we got him to agree to let us honor him tonight was because he knew it would be doing so much good for so many other people and the causes that are so near and dear to us all. So thanks, Darren, for letting us do this. We appreciate it. And Darren really embodies wh why I feel we are so blessed by our entire land and water resources department. Um, you know, we can talk about the acres of land added, we can talk about the forests developed, we can talk about everything that is so special to us and so unique to Dane County, um, but that doesn't happen without people. And our friends groups are so important 
to everything we do. We couldn't have the park system that we do without our amazing staff and our amazing friends groups because there is no way we could afford to hire enough people to maintain the parks that we have and the growth that we've experienced along with our population. And having people like Darren who truly and humbly appreciate and work with our parks groups to help provide, I'm sorry, I have to not answer my phone. <laughs> to help provide the services we need in order to provide a park system like this to people. Um, and, and, and as important as a way of reminding people and demonstrating that the parks don't belong to Dane County government. They belong to the people of Dane County. And everyone who volunteers or walks in a park has ownership in these parks. But those, the, that ownership and that whole system depends on relationships and mutual respect. And so it's really fitting that Darren has agreed to let us honor him tonight as we raise money for this foundation whose work, so much of their work, is dedicated to working with the Friends groups to provide more ownership of the parks by the people who live in this community. So I couldn't be more thrilled than to be able to, you know, be part of this, this event. And we certainly know the dollars raised are going to a very good cause. And it's just really an honor to be able to do it while honoring Darren for all of the work that he has done and everything that he's contributed. So thank you, Darren. We appreciate you. We appreciate all of you for everything you've done. And now I'm going to turn it over to the foundation's president um, with a very long resume as a 30-some year Parks Commission chair. Something like that. County board supervisor, et cetera, et cetera. He's famous for a lot of stuff. Maybe Judy could fill us in more on that. But I'll turn it over to Bill Luddy, and thanks, Thank everyone. We appreciate it. Thank you, Bill. I want to start by echoing what Tom said about, about Joe Parisi and the wonderful work that Joe has done in keep helping us navigate this incredibly challenging time. And he did it with a lot of courage. He put some of his political capital on the line for that. But we're really totally indebted to what he has done to keep us courageously on a path toward ultimately being successful on this. So I want to thank you, Joe, for all you've done. Tom gave me the honor of um, announcing the amount of money that we have raised tonight, as of now, but there's still more time. <laughs> and it looks like we're going to hit $100,000. You know, Dane County has had three parks directors, Dick Presney, Ken Lapine, and Darren Marsh. And I've had the honor, actually, of serving with each one of them as Park Commission Chair. Each director, in their own way, contributed to the wonderful park system we have and was the right person for the time. And Ken Lapine is with us here tonight, and I think we need to thank Ken for all he's done. But it was really Darren who became and served during what I would call the golden age of our park system. It is fitting that we, we celebrate this work tonight for Darren, but also, as Joe mentioned, the wonderful work of our volunteers. We all know about his tireless work in managing and building partnerships, trails and wildlife areas, building and supporting our friends groups, supporting our volunteers. But when you think of Darren, you talk about the qualities he exhibits every day, not just in the parks, but in the community and in his life. And I want to talk a little bit about those qualities. The first thing we all know is humility. Darren genuinely, as we know, does not want any credit and is uncomfortable with any attention <laughs> or praise. I actually think humility is built into his DNA. He literally, as you know, shies away from the spotlight always deflects attention from himself. And as we've noted, we had to wrangle him for weeks 
to allow us to have this event today in his honor. Then there's professionalism. Darren, in my opinion, is the consummate parks professional. A park system is judged by the little things. It's the things that visitors notice. Things like upkeep of the lands, the prairies, the open areas, are they mowed, cleanliness of the shelters and campgrounds. In my years, my 30 years of working in the parks, I cannot recall any complaints about the quality of the experience in our parks. And we did get a few complaints, which I'll mention in a minute, but not about the quality, <laughs> not about the quality of the parks. <laughs> and why is that important? Those things are important because it's when, that's when most people interact with their park system. And that's what creates the lasting impression and builds a pride not only in their parks, but in the broader community. Then there's leadership. Darren's leadership is by example. He would meet with his staff most every workday morning and go over the day's work. He knew that a successful park system began with those field workers, rangers, and staff. They are the face of our parks in many ways, and he was there with them supporting and advising and mentoring them. Under his leadership, as has already been noted, park staff are imbued with an ethic of service to the public that is really unmatched, certainly in most of the park systems I've been in, aware of over the years. Hard work, we all know Darren's work habits. I'd call him any time, day or night, he'd answer and get back to me within a few minutes. I really mean that. He truly was the first to arrive in a, at an event and a task and the last one to leave. Collegiality. Darren recognized that we couldn't do it alone and he, he worked tirelessly to support Parks volunteers as a critical part of our system. Darren has been a major advocate of accessibility in our parks, and if you haven't had a chance to check out the accessible wheelchairs we have today under the sponsorship of Accessibility Wisconsin, please do so. In addition, Darren worked routinely to support other communities in their parks and worked with the state all the way from Madison Parks to the state parks to his own Parks and Recreation Association. Darren has a vision for our park system. It wasn't just about the landscape. It wasn't something you could draw on a whiteboard or present to a group. It was much more intangible. It was about a park being a good neighbor in the community. It was about a park being a vibrant part of a community and he worked tirelessly to make that happen. He recognized that each park had its own identity and he skillfully allowed that identity to show through while keeping that park as part of a larger park system. Problem solving. Darren, whenever we had a problem, and we had a lot of them, Darren was there to help out. In most cases, he would have a solution and a path to success. Darren never ceased to amaze me with his positive attitude. He would figure out a, a way to make an idea work. I have to mention his courage. You really get to know someone during times of crisis, and Darren and I and Joe had our share. There was the challenging issue of trapping and hunting in our county parks. Darren fashioned a win-win scenario there. There were the debates over the methods of dealing with invasive species, the countless issues that are involved in conflicting uses in our park system. The bigger we get, the more popular we get, the more potential there is for conflicting uses. And that's why what Darren has been able to do over the years has kept this system as viable as it is. We have 18,000 acres of natural and community diversity so that those conflicts were bound to happen. But this showed Darren's mettle. In each of those instances, he stood tall. And through all of it, he protected the parks as a natural and community resources, often resolving the issues with win-win result. Darren has supported our foundation from the beginning. Darren saw this idea as a major element in supporting the park system, not as a competitor to the parks, but as an, as an adjunct and a supporter of our park system. And I have to tell you, without his consistent and energetic support, we would not have enjoyed the success that our foundation has to date. He didn't see us a problem, 
He instead saw us as a critical element in supporting a sustainable park system. There are countless times that Judy and I needed advice or assistance, and Darren was always there for us and helped us negotiate some of those issues. So again, I want to thank Darren personally, personally, for all of the friendship, support, and advice, and I don't know where he is, he's probably hiding somewhere. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> well, you're not really hiding, Darren, you're actually right there, but <laughs> bless you. So in conclusion, I want to personally thank Darren, thank you for all your friendship, support, and advice that you've given to us over the years. We're truly going to miss it. And on behalf of all of us here today, I want to express our profound appreciation to Darren Marsh for all he has accomplished and what he has meant to Dane County. Darren has left footprints that will sustain our parks for many generations to come. Darren's contributions to conservation and recreation in Dane County have immeasurably contributed to the quality of life we all enjoy now and into the future. So please join me in thanking Darren Marsh for his work and what he has done for our community. Watch out, for, watch out for the string here. Oh, thank you, Darren. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Say, Darren, before you stop. Or start. Or start. We want to present you with something more of a token of our appreciation. So we want to have people come up and join us. And I'll let Judy Pfeiffer make the presentation to you. And thank you for all you've done. So. I thought Laura was going to speak. <laughs> Sorry, that was a joke. It's an inside joke. <laughs> so, from the foundation, we have this beautiful picture of Cam Rock Park, which I know is one of the ones you use a lot. And it says, to Darren Marsh for 28 years of service to Dane County Parks, in gratitude from the foundation for Dane County Parks. Hi everyone, Laura Hicklin, I'm the Director of Land and Water. Uh, with me is our Interim Parks Director, Jolene Stinson. It's my honor to present her to you. She will be taking the complaints uh, now that Darren is gone. Uh, but it was important to us that we had this opportunity to publicly give Darren a gift. We have tried to thank him over the course of the last year, but I think um, the opportunity to do this in public is important to me as the department director, to Jolene as our interim parks director, to, to show Darren and all of you that the same respect, appreciation, gratitude you have for Darren was shared by staff throughout the department. And we're going to do our best to, to live up to the traditions and the culture that Darren created. And I want to publicly commit to all of you that the partnerships he created his willingness to, to work with everyone will continue with the department. Darren will be with us in spirit, and those of us who uh, continue with his work will be there to work with you. So thank you uh, for all you've done to support our department and for supporting Darren tonight. So once he gets it open, I'll tell you a little bit about what it is. The way Laura stepped away so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So this is a handmade wooden bowl um, from somebody somebody in the local area made that for us out of a cherry burl that was taken off of a tree at Walking Iron Wildlife Area. So a little bit of Dane County Parks now gets to go with it. It just keeps going. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you to uh, 
Is this on? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to thank every the county executive. I want to thank um, Bill Lunny, Tom Thorson, for the wonderful comments. It's very humbling. I want to thank the foundation for creating this celebration event and giving me an opportunity to say thank you. <laughs> So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I do have a couple other things to say, as, if I can get them out. I want to thank all the sponsors that we have here tonight and all the people that donated and all the people that really are the champions of our park system. It's because of your support, your ideas, your knowledge, and everything that you do to support our system that we have it today. So thank you sponsors for coming forward. Thank you for the foundation and all the foundation or volunteers efforts. It's a public private partnership that comes together. And as a park system grows, it needs to have that public private partnership businesses coming together with the community to engage the community and make things happen and that's what we have here with the foundation and that's what we have here with the donations that you're making so thank you very much for doing that I know that park staff does a little bit of work for these type of events too I've been there I've seen that so I want to thank all the land and water resource staff the park staff to make everything uh, look good and they know I have a little bit of an eye for detail, so I appreciate that. Um, making everything look as good as they do every day, they're just amazing. Also, like I said, I've got a few comments here, but first I wanted to introduce my family, Dawn and my parents, Dale and Donna. I hadn't come tonight because I didn't think anybody else would be here, but <laughs> <coughs> it worked out. <coughs> no, I wouldn't be able to do what I've been able to do for all of these years without their support and their help. Um, I do put in quite a bit of time, energy. Luckily, I come from a resource family that knows all about that, and I have a loving wife that loves the outdoors. So it worked out very well. So thank you. <clears throat> There's been much attention directed my way over the last two months. It started by, with a park commission meeting out at Camrock Park. And oh my gosh, you get, everything has gone over the top. It really has. It's, um, it's been very overwhelming for me leading up to this time. Um, the attention has been very, very nice. I, I thank you very, very much for all the cards showing up like this and all the support. But I'd like to see that effort continue to show that support moving forward for our park commission because we've got the best, or the park system, we've got the best park system you could ever have. And I'll talk about that a little bit more as we move forward. Dane County Parks is bigger than one person. It's due to the great team, a team dedicated to park and land and water resource staff, legions of passionate volunteers, excuse me. <clears throat> I knew I had something in here that I could use. <clears throat> Sorry. If you wanted to talk about parks, volunteer, it would be great, but you're talking about me, so it's a little bit more tough. So, but I just wanted to say, a team dedicated of land and water resource staff, legions of passionate volunteers, partner groups that are engaged in a public that's very strong to move forward 
and provide support with our community leaders. Our success builds upon the vision and success of those who have come before us. Ken Lapine, Dick Presney, working with great supervisors like Laura Hicklin, Kevin Connors, Ken Lapine in the past for me and my other ones before. All these visions are formable, move forward, and they're taken on by another park commission, they're taken on by new leaders, and that vision grows. And that's what we're doing here today, we're growing that vision. I want to acknowledge Dean County Executive Joe Parisi and his conservation initiatives to combat climate change, improve water quality, and expand access to public lands um, around Dane County. His initiatives have placed Dane County Parks and our Land and Water Resource Department in the state and national spotlight. While many public agencies were cutting back and doing less to protect their natural resources, Dane County was moving forward and expanding. His initiatives are all around us. Here in William G. Lunny Lake Farm County Park, you can look at the Lower Yahara River Trail over here. It's got one of the biggest bridges found anywhere in the nation. You can go to our Lake Farm Campground and lose your Family Heritage Center and see all of the solar arrays that are providing power to run all of those facilities. You can see a facility over here that's a state-of-the-art seed cleaning facility for our volunteers and our partner organizations to come and use to get, garner natural seed that we can use for restoration all around the county. And this is just one park. So what County Executive Parisi is doing is wonderful. He's providing the direction that we need and the resources to do that along with the county board and a very engaged park commission and other supporters. It creates a great team. The initiatives inspire others to take care of what they have in front of them and to move things forward. I also see our staff, excuse me here, The other thing that I, I guess I wanted to say associated with that, <clears throat> sorry, I lost my way a little bit. As we move forward, and we're looking at all of the great things that move forward, we're getting really close to the 2022 budget. <laughs> <clears throat> No, I'm not going to put him on the spot, and I don't have his hand or his ear right now anymore, but we do look forward to see what new projects are around the corner to support our county parks. So I know our land and water resources are looking for that, too. All right, I'd also like to recognize Bill Lunny president and founding board member for the Foundation for Dane County Parks. Bill is a former and long-term chair of the Park Commission, former county board supervisor. Bill has been the backbone for our park system through a tremendous growth period. It's hard to find the words that it can capture Bill and his wife Judy, Judy Pfeiffer's devotion to our county park system. They're amazing team, stewarding and promoting the parks, not just us, state parks, national public lands. The good thing is, is that they're not slowing down yet, and they're continuing to think, get things going. So thank you very much. Outstanding job. Over the last two months where I've been away, my wife and I have been traveling to outdoor venues. She's the trip planner in our family. We visited parks, natural resource areas, trails in six different states, including Wisconsin. We visited more than 30 different parks, logging more than 150 miles hiking, and more than probably 150, 100 miles on bike trails. What really stands out 
from all of these travels is that I have a much greater appreciation of the recreational experiences we have right here in Dane County. <laughs> the quality of our parks and natural resource areas, trails, are just outstanding. This is all due to the amazing efforts of our amazing team. Every one of you that is sitting here today is part of that. Together, we've worked to meet the expectations of our community, and I have to tell you, we're doing a pretty darn good job. We really are. I want to talk a little bit about the parks, land and water resource staff. I'm so thankful to have the, the opportunity to work with all of our parks and land and water staff. They're a passionate group, diligent and work extremely hard to serve our community. I know our park system is in good hands moving forward. The staff are high energy with new ideas. Their knowledge and expertise in computer skills, online services, social media, connecting to diverse communities and creating programs to engage our youth are well beyond my experiences and knowledge. These staff will support a great team to take our system to the next level, a much higher level. I also see this staff being a resource assisting to our communities, all over Dane County. I know that we work with many government partners, but I also want to acknowledge two government partners that have been essential for our program and we've worked with for years and years and years. Agency staff that have worked side by side with our staff, helping us on any issues that come along. First, I want to acknowledge the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. I want to thank the state parks people, the fisheries, the wildlife, the forestry, the endangered resources, law enforcement, waterway protection, and the community assistant program. I can't thank the staff enough for the areas, for their, their cooperation and leadership that they provided to me and all of our staff and programs over time. So I want to thank them as an incredible partner. Next, I want to recognize the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for their continual assistance to restore our county lands. This includes planning, grant writing, resources, oversight for many of our larger restoration projects. As a partner, the Fish and Wildlife Service has done tremendous work. They also share their specialized equipment. So they help us out with fire control and seed collection and a lot of, no, lot of other areas. So I greatly appreciate all of that service. I know that there's all kinds of partner groups out here many local and area in areas that are working um, on special parks wildlife areas on trails you're all essential all of you partners out there you've most likely heard me say this time and time again as your parks director dane county is fortunate to have the legion of volunteers and partners supporting our park system our volunteer partners Volunteers and partners put the heart and soul into our park system. That is very true. They're the ones that are adding the identity for those parks and those trails and those areas. They create the individual identities for each of the parks. They provide the hands-on activities. They build, they restore, they create events and provide education and outreach for their parks. You can tell right away where there's a dedicated group of volunteers or partners working to support our park. I am also pleased to see the emphasis of new programs and grants that are being developed to support 
these programs. The foundation, the county, and other groups working to support all of our friends and partners that are taking part in these projects on each individual park or resource area. Our volunteers and partners are our greatest asset, our greatest resource, and our park system is dependent on their success, your success. With a broad brush, I want to thank all of our team of volunteers, partners, donors, philanthropists, landowners, businesses, and community leaders, and all of the staff that are creating Premier Park System, a system that is second to none. It's just amazing. So what are my future plans as they move forward? Well, Don and I are planning to move to Door County where we'll have property that we'll keep busy maintaining. We plan to hike and visit as many parks as we can in our future years. This includes coming back to Dane County, not with the critical eye that I've had over time, <laughs> but as a park patron, a user, who can truly enjoy everything our park system has to offer. We also plan to continue to support the foundation for Dane County Parks. In our spare time, we'll continue to volunteer time supporting parks and natural resources, especially in, in Door County, but maybe at times back here as well. As your former parks director, I wanna thank all of you for your goodwill friendship, and the amazing opportunities you provided. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.